Horses love oats. And we love our horses. We also love oats. So a few years ago, before we started making films for YouTube, we made an attempt at growing our own oats. It seemed pretty easy to start with. We sowed them by hand in a field we had prepared with the horses. And between March and August, the field turned from bright green to golden yellow. So far so good. Henry the horse thought so too. And while I was filming one of his foals one day in August, he broke into the oat field and helped himself to the nearly ripe oats. Yummy! There were still plenty left when it got to harvesting time though, and we got to work with our scythe. We bundled the cut oats to sheaves and shocked them in the field to dry. That's where we hit difficulty. The crows and jackdaws and all sorts of other birds had been watching us and moved in as soon as we left the field. Then the rain came. So we didn't end up with many oats that year. The next step would have been removing the hulls and flaking them, which would have been another complicated experiment. But we haven't given up yet after that first experience. After all, that's one reason why we built the tomato shed to be able to dry the sheaves of oats away from the rain, birds and mice. In the meantime, we are lucky that we can buy great Irish grown oats in our shop. And when the autumn mist moves in and the first grass frost glitters on the lawn, it's time for me to switch to porridge for breakfast. You would think that everyone knows how to make porridge. But no, we've been asked to put up our porridge recipe by one of our subscribers. So, here it is. Very simple, very easy, very nutritious. And guaranteed not slimy or gluey. The trick to get really creamy tasty porridge is to put the oats to soak in milk the night before. Many recipes use water or don't soak the oats, but this way you'll definitely get the nicer porridge. For one portion I take two-thirds of a cup of oat flakes and one-third of a cup of oat bran. I then add two cups of milk. Full fat is best. We use our sheep's milk. The next morning the oats have taken in some of the milk and are nice and soft. Then I cook them over a low flame. I stir constantly. Tim's commented millions of times on my burnt pots, so I try to be careful. After a few minutes, the mixture thickens and bubbles start to rise. Ready to eat. I have mine with Tim's Bee's honey, but you can also add fresh fruit or sprinkle sugar over it. A brilliant start to the day on a fresh morning. How do you make yours? 